Chapter 10. Thankful. Jack opened his eyes. He sighed. They were wearing their own clothes again. His leather bag was a backpack. Sunlight slanted through the treehouse window. As always, no time at all had passed in Frog Creek. Home, said Annie. She held up the pouch of corn seeds. Proof for Morgan we found a special magic. The magic of community, said Jack. Annie placed the pouch on the floor, next to the scrolls from Shakespeare and the twig from the gorillas of the cloud forest. Let's go, she said. Jack took the research book out of his pack. He left it under the window. Then they climbed down the rope ladder. As they started through the woods, a warm wind blew, rattling the leaves. Jack felt happy. He was looking forward to visiting their grandmother today and seeing their cousins and aunts and uncles. You know, pilgrim kids had a really hard life, said Annie. Yeah, they did as much work as the grown-ups, said Jack. Maybe more. Worst of all, lots of their friends and family members died, said Annie. Yeah, said Jack. Both were silent for a moment. If they could be so thankful, said Annie, we should be really thankful. No kidding, said Jack. Really, really thankful. And they were.